Titan quest, Eternal Embers. Let's start a character. I don't I, I feel like it's not maybe I should I should have a character to play new Titan Quest content. Because every time they release something, I'm just like, surely they're not gonna release more, and then they release more, and then I'm like, starting over in Titan Quest would be a lot of fun. I don't know why my brain goes there. Here's here's the hardest part. Let's go to it. Let's get a let's get a name. Nina. All right, we'll go with a we'll go blue tunic, and then um, there's a couple options here to uh, have a hover over. You're creating here suitable for the wealth of adventures in the north. This journey also begins at the start of the Ragnarok DLC. So um, they have Ragnarok at Atlantis, which I assume doesn't warrant having a starting point, and then they have Legendary, uh, which is you are creating here a both sustainable level on wealth for the adventures of the east. Journal starts you at the Eternal Embers campaign on legendary difficulty. Characters created this way cannot enter normal or epic difficulty. Yeah, so if you would like to start right away, then you can. Um, or, like, re it's real deep in. I, I would say that uh, I, I don't have enough knowledge of the game to really start there effectively. I think any time that I've tried to do it, it's gone poorly. And uh, I think that says more about me than anything else. Just so we're clear. Um, yeah. So let's start. Um... Yeah, I don't have enough knowledge to uh, really start at the end. One day. And then I always want to like try out another another different thing when I play Titan Quest because it, it offers a lot of depth from someone that doesn't play like a lot, a lot. I play a lot of other. Yeah, you know, I think I played probably more Grim Dawn than Titan Quest at this point. Um, and that system is incredibly similar, and I find that that's fun in almost the exact same way. Anytime I start playing, I want to try something new. Which probably means I just need to play more and exhaust it completely, so that I hate playing it. Darkest times, that the strongest of heroes are born. Um, I think this time we'll try to do something that I have yet to do in this game, which is make a minion build. Or make a predominantly min minion focused character. You there, soldier. While also reading all the lore. For rest in peace, you won't find it here in Helos. Our village has recently been beset by satyrs and other vile beasts. The help of your fighting arm would be greatly appreciated. The help of your fighting our arm. Cannot get to their fields, and our supplies are running low. Please go down the road toward the village and help where you can. You know, it sounds quiet. You must have been sent by the gods. Please, in the field here, they're going to kill my horse. My horse? Yeah, so we'll go with a, um, we'll start in nature. And then we'll see how, uh, that really gets us going. You saved my horse! Thank you! But I'm not the only one in trouble. Down the road there, that's my village, Helos. We've got monsters Helos. at the gates, in the fields, they're everywhere! Well, that sucks. Hopefully someone comes along and uh, helps you with that. Hello, I am Aeson, guard captain for this small Hello. village. We are holding up, but what's the use? If the monsters lay waste to our farms, we're lost all the same. It's that cursed shaman. Diomedes is tearing his hair out over it. Mm. The waters within these fountains are blessed by the gods. They say when you touch the water, your soul drinks from it. Should you suffer the dark fate in battle, your body will return to the fountain and you may live to fight again. Huh. Inspire me to speak of the mightiest hero ever known, son of Zeus, a god, and of a mortal woman, the man named Heracles. Hated by the goddess Hera and beloved of Zeus, mighty-handed Heracles battled monsters great and fearsome. The Nemean lion he slew, and the Hydra many-headed, the Erymanthian boar and thunderous giants. Twelve tasks of legend did he perform. Heracles rose above the realm of mortals. Once, it is told he took the place of Atlas, who holds the world aloft. Heracles 
Yes, Heracles bore the world itself upon his shoulders. And now, now, where is a hero half as great as he? I'm, I'm right here, dude. Hello, stranger. I'm Diomedes, the leader of this small village. Do you mean to say that you fought your way here? If that's true, then please, I beg of you. We need your help. Monsters led by a powerful satyr shaman appeared a few days ago and have driven us from our farms. We can hardly defend the village gates and have no one who can stop them from destroying our crops. Our farmland lies on the other side of the river, just over this bridge. The shaman was last seen beyond the farms at the edge of the Helos woods. Please, rid us of this terrible sorcerer. We will pay you what we can. Okay. Everyone's gonna play on very fast speed. Probably not great for uh, for me, but feels like it's moving at a fun pace. Can I like equip this thing? We dual wield. wants to pick up broken items. Oh, I have no potions. I thought the nine was how many I had. Help me. I don't have potions. Oh, there's no one that can help me. Teamwork. Ah, it makes the dream work. Okay, let's get some potions. If you're going out there, don't go unprepared. It is not safe. Buy what you need here. Goodbye. Okay, goodbye. Yeah, for as much as I've started over in Titan Quest, I feel like I don't have a good grasp of how to really do this first part very well kind of uh, really hairy every time. it is. It's embarrassing. Just give me the shield. Yeah, so uh, we're going to try to uh, do a, a minion -y build. We'll see how that goes. We're going to probably try... Uh, this is more like overall video making thing, but we'll see what happens if I comment less. You know what I'm saying? I mentioned before that I want to make a long play channel, but I feel like I can't actually do that. You know, I have to say, I have to say a little bit of stuff. level up. <sighs> you just like attack the ground. What's wrong with you? level right now I 
actually read what all of the abilities here are. What does this second level do? Dude, what if we just max this? Someone gonna yell at me and tell me I'm doing a bad job? Cause like, I, I probably am. You know, this is my damage right here. Let's just do it. And then we'll uh, offset the stats with uh, these actual points. So I can't get this yet. Now all this stuff is level three. Except that I need more intelligence. Can you imagine being too dumb to wear some pants? Cause that's, that's what's happening right now. Then I think I can only summon one. I don't know when that changes. I'm pretty sure I can get two wolves later, but just not right now. I can trust this wolf to just get stuff done. Just walk up, bop. Like it's kind of doing work, I don't know. Defeated the powerful shaman? Astounding! Your victory today is great, but I fear there will be more monsters tomorrow. At least there is enough of the harvest left to feed us all. Take this gold. I know it's not much. Please seek out the Spartan general, Leonidas. Petition him on my behalf. Ask him to send a few of his warriors to protect us, and quickly, before we are again overwhelmed. Overwhelmed. Do I need this? Some of these like... Okay, no. I thought this gave me healing. Just bolsters the life force. Oh, 10% total speed. Kinda tight. Don't forget armor for your arms and legs. They're important too. Goodbye, my friend. Goodbye. Oh, hello, text. I want you to know you saved our lives. All the crops were not ruined. We will not starve through the winter. Anytime. These shrines are ancient, as old as humankind, some say. They say Prometheus, who brought us fire, built these too. And in ancient times, men traveled by them. Okay. You have our thanks. May Hermes lead you safe to Sparta. Thank you. We were leading our flocks home when a pack of satyrs attacked. By the gods, they grabbed Telus and dragged him into a roadside cave. The roads aren't safe. Nowhere is safe anymore. Okay. Yeah, you know, you could just follow the path. Or you could be really dorky and uh, hug the left wall. Yeah, everyone's got their method. You know, this is mine. I can't attack. My method is uh, one without a piece.
Yeah, so I just turned the filtering back on, so it's only going to show yellow items from here on out. Which is probably already too aggressive. But... That's okay. human face. Good fortune finds me even in the darkest places of Greece. I believed I was counting my final hours. Yeah, it's all good. Your inventory is full. My inventory is full. We can just go back to town with some immediacy, but uh, let's just keep this rolling, you know what I'm saying? I mean, like, why not? Ah! Why not make terrible decisions? Maybe at eight points? Offensive ability. Actually, uh, let's swap these. Just for my personal organization. Oh, I need more dexterity. Dude, easy. Yeah, this has like some pretty rudimentary loot filtering, all things considered. Um, like, uh, what is it? Uh, I almost said Odin Sphere, that's not right. Um, Grimdon has some pretty advanced loot filtering, all things considered. doesn't taunt maybe I can tell it to but uh it's not currently yeah I think um one of the things that I have grown to appreciate or not necessarily appreciate but come to understand about Titan Quest is that uh early on I initially thought it was like pretty shallow because it's a single map it's not procedurally generated or anything um which I think overall I'm pretty whatever about but traveler please you must assist me a strange illness afflicts many in my town of Tegea and I was sent to retrieve medicines I have them in my cart but now the pass ahead is held by satyrs led by one of their fierce champions held by satan is what I thought I was going to say yeah I think um, I just understand it a little bit more um, Grim Dawn is kind of the same way uh, I guess in my mind it's like you know every game could or should be procedural and I don't know why I think that I mean Diablo is like that that's why I think that but I'm a little bit more understanding of the uh, game at this point Tyne Quest 
that is. We're just gonna we're gonna keep it going. The inventory gets full with yellow items, and I'll, I'll teleport back. Teleporting is free in this game, so you know you should do it. Just check the log. Find Leonidas. We return to Euphedemus. I always kind of forget to do this. It's only like 350 experience, but. The way is clear? Good. Well, I'll be moving on, I suppose. Here. Have this for your troubles. Okay, thank you. That was almost a level. Yeah, I think, um... Not every quest is required to finish the game. In fact, most are not required. If you just want to go through and, uh... Mainline it to a certain degree, then you can. You can get a second. Okay, it doesn't matter. Oh, wait, summon limit two. There it is. Build complete, baby. Something bolt too aggressive. Y'all gotta protect me. Killing it. The Spartan army. Yes, you'll find them just up the road. They've built a war camp there. Oh, they've built a war camp there. Okay, so I, I know in this area, there's a uh, side quest over this way, I think. You follow the road, you'll encounter... This man right here, Spartan peasant. Here, but I can't go home! My daughter was supposed to be married. Alas, her dowry, a fine gold necklace, is in the claws of crazed demons who smashed my cart and ran off. Why would the demons smash the cart? Like, what do they do? Don't you have anything better to do? Like, drink his blood or something? Like, 
seems very petty. For, for what they could have done. Which is drink his blood. Am I am I good on this? What does this do? Oh. Tacking into the menu right here is always a little bit of a tough proposition. Yeah, you know, I think I definitely prefer that it would be proc procedurally generated. Because it feels like a... The necklace! Oh, oh my god. May the goddess Hera bless you! The necklace. Uh, it definitely feels like I am... I need to know this, otherwise I'm missing something, which is a tough thing to shake. Especially in new areas, you know, I feel like I'll just need to, uh, you know, go through this whole area. Look, so this is how much of the area we've, like, realistically explored. There's more this way there's more to the right over here there's this entire path that we didn't explore but we don't need to do any of it bizarrely enough it's definitely a kind of like a funky game in that regard even hitting half of these dudes. This is the life. This is exactly what I wanted. I'll just, I'll just follow them. They're the ones doing the work. Dude, 69 health, that's what I'm talking about. There's like pet rings that you'll eventually start getting. Nice. General Leonidas, he's just ahead. But he doesn't speak with commoners who arrive uninvited. Oh, okay. Guess I'll turn around and let my people die then. Oh, Liter, no civilian gets in to see General Leonidas, especially when he's in a council of war. Well, look, a particularly savage centaur named Nessus has killed several of our farmers. He runs wild in the Pelena Valley. We don't have the men to send after it right now. Kill the beast, and I'll see you get to speak to Leonidas. Okay, I need to make sure. I don't know what I'm trying to equip right now. Let's visit the uh, vendor so I can get rid of some of these items. I'm busy enough supplying the Spartans. Hurry, what do you want? What do you want? It's got a, what's his name from uh, Star Wars vibe going on. What do you want? All right, don't need the rest of those points. Putting them in health. 
Bye. Bye. And I think the other person is a what? Different vendor. Good day. Thank you. If I look worried, it's because Hippias, an ancient of war and father figure to me, wandered off into the valley this morning and has not come back. He is getting old and thinks he still has his former strength and speed. Okay, I happen to remember where this guy is. So we're just going to go find him. Outside of this, this starting zone, this first uh, whole act, I generally don't remember as much, so... My knowledge uh, will begin to fall off once we leave this area, which uh, won't be for a while, but I will know less. Unfortunately for me. So which is why normally we would be taking left turns. This time we're going to be taking a right. I wish I could make it daytime all the time. Like, look at this. Who doesn't love a minion build? You just like walk through the game, have a good time. Occasionally, some monsters roll up. Then your homies like go to town. It's like you're playing with the boys. I was taking a morning stroll when I came across these monsters. When I was done with them, I thought I would rest a while. Yeah, wouldn't you know it? He's fine. What it is about just uh playing minion builds i just want every game to be like warcraft or something just have a bunch of homies fighting it out This is going so bad. What if I just hit the K button and then die before I manage to make it out? No loitering. That, uh, that didn't go so well. Goodbye. This is typically where uh, things get dicey, so that's okay. Hippias was okay? Just standing there. <laughs> well, I should have known better than to worry about old Hippias. Here. Take this for your trouble. Thank you. First, we thought our enemies stemmed from Corinth. We marched to meet them, but everywhere they attacked. From our flanks, from behind, at night, even in broad day. Wow. Sure is something. I feel like the scaling in this part is a little ridiculous. You know, like, right now, no problems. And then once I walk into this next area with the boss, then, you know, everything goes south real quickly. I think if I could kill the other guys fast enough, then uh, it wouldn't be that big a deal, but it's so scrambly. They're fighting something still. Yeah, look at this. <laughs> they're I'm I'm following them.
didn't mean it. Not me. Not in the face. Hell yeah. Well, look how hard that was. Jeez. Helen of Ali lies behind you. If it's Leonidas you seek, you will find him back in the Spartan camp. All right. We need to go fight that centaur for Leonidas. Let's go back and talk to Leonidas. No loitering. No loitering. That's so much strength. Yeah, I will take the resistance. I don't know how much um resistance is you'll really need at a later level. Bye. So it's hard to uh, know what to shoot for. I'll tell you the truth. I just joined Leonidas's men today. My father gave me permission and his old spear and shield, and I took off like Hermes himself. And I'm gonna die. Stranger. We've seen invasions. Macedonians, the Persians. A human enemy may lower his weapons and yield, but these monsters only yield to death. Uh, this is the, what so we'll give them. You killed it. I have to say, I didn't think you would. You're no Spartan. Speak with the general if you must. Be quick. Leonidas is a busy man. Oh, me too. So you're the one who brought the centaur down. I thought only a Spartan warrior could accomplish such a feat. So you are here on Diomedes' behalf. Very well. I will send a few of my men to defend his village. This isn't the first petition I've received requesting assistance. These beasts are everywhere now. And the lazy citizens who mocked Spartan discipline now whine for our help. No matter. Those creatures will regret the day they dared to step on Spartan soil. You must journey to the Oracle of Delphi. She will know where these monsters come from. I'd send a Spartan warrior, but I need all of them for battle. Go to Megara and find my old friend Timon. He can help you acquire a proper offering for the Oracle. Young warrior, remember, bravery is not born. It is made. Okay, oh, I got a skill point. Oh wait, I have a uh, the uh, teleport. Almost forgot. Got the purple buff. Oh, I got a level up. Oh, 
My OP damage scaling is going to stop in another level. I don't even know what I'm going to start getting them. Maul. I guess I don't know if I need to resummon. It's kind of hard to tell. Based on their performance, I would be willing to guess that uh, I think they're fine. Here is the way to go. So while we have this experience try and we're gonna make sure we walk around right here and kill everybody. Explore. It's like a dungeon-y thing. We're just gonna ignore it. Equip that staff. Not yet. I'll just let these guys play the game for me. No more room. I have no more room. Um, okay, well let's let's make some room. Yeah, hopefully I'll be remembering to do this, but um I think for the duration of this playthrough I'll just make sure that I edit out a lot of like the uh going back to town stuff, but keep the gameplay relatively raw so you get a good sense of the game you know it's like you're playing and then occasionally i'm talking and you're just like wait who the fuck is that oh my god we're in a town the water by our village has gone foul. It happened just the day before last, after the first satyr was spotted. My sister got sick, and then my neighbor. And I was sick, but I didn't say anything. No one seemed I to care, to really. I used to sell plows and scythes to farmers, but since the monsters, it's been swords and shields, greaves and spears.
Artemis guide you. News from all over Greece brings the same tale of destruction. The creatures roam everywhere. What are the small villages to do? Spartans cannot protect us all. Wow. I sing now muse of the goddess huntress we call Artemis. And I sing of a mortal man named Acteon. The goddess Artemis, sister to Apollo and mistress of the moon. There is no greater hunter than she, none more fleet or sure of her mark with bow or spear. Acteon too was a master hunter, and many a deer fell to his bow, and many offered up to Artemis in thanks. But Acteon was given an ill fate. One night, chasing a boar, he burst into a clearing by a stream, and there, that very stream had keen-eyed Artemis selected for her moonlit bath. Naiads, dryads, all her nymphs around her. She had just disrobed and stepped into the stream when Acteon appeared, wild from the chase. She grew angry that a mortal man had seen her unclothed, and with one Hot. cold look she turned him to a stag. A stag he then became, and Acteon's own dogs chased after him, snarling at their master. Now their prey. Nerd mode. Mortal, I am Anayad, the spirit of this spring. Pangea, I am called. My water has Pangea? been and I am ill. Vile spiders have come to dwell in a cave by my water's source. They are the cause of the poison. Okay. Venom sack. Those two staves? One of these has to be an improvement. Oh, wow. Wow, this gives me a lot of intelligence. Okay, I should keep note of that. Next time. I didn't even realize. It shouldn't be too bad because the next level we're going to start getting uh, more stat points. like a heal on myself we're going to opt to not get that um yeah i think i will get the one point in heart of oak because it's just 10 percent more speed which is uh not bad Okay, that's all good. Then we'll get the health. I'm finally upgrading the staff. How long have I had that thing equipped? Yeah. 
I'm stuck. I can't move. Help. You can't carry it. Your inventory is full. My inventory is full. Your inventory is full. Okay, well, I'm gonna go back. Trot, 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 trot. Ow. It's like den of evil. The light comes in. carry anymore? I could definitely go without um, going back to town as much, but it's free, you know. I don't 100% mind doing it. I can still satisfy my bizarre desire to pick up every item. You know, like I'm aware that it's a a hindrance. You have no more room. Oh my god, I'm full again. Who's full now? <laughs> You have cleansed the poison from the cave. My waters will run clear and clean again. Fantastic. Love to hear it. going in I can't keep up with them so this is a cave but I think it's on the other side of this uh, whole situation My wares are sturdy. They'll hold up in the pitch of battle. I hope they're gonna hold up in the pitch of battle. I'm not getting them because they don't hold up. Artemis guide you. I sing now muse of the goddess hunt. News from all over Greece brings the same tale of destruction. The creatures roam everywhere. What are the small villages to do? Spartans cannot protect us all. You're just gonna die, buddy.
I'm like taking damage. It's scary. of the jams. I'm, I'm clearly not doing anything, anything here now. The wolves are just like absolutely destroying. The wolves need me to accept the uh, quests, but they're the ones that are actually doing them. Yeah, we'll try to see. I normally get the second skill mastery like pretty immediately, but I feel like that's just kind of like not the right thing to do. The main thing that they get is they uh, move faster. Which I guess is like a not insignificant component to increasing their damage. taking damage up there not cool and definitely the tough thing with maul at this point is you if, can't I, carry if i get it i'm gonna have no idea when it's happening i need to go back
the Nina, the Pinta, and the Santa Maria. This is not where I ended up. That's toxic. See, now this is way quiet. That's that's toxic. Like the main menu was so loud. All right, whatever. We'll just take a slightly different path than we did last time. Help fully clear the map a little bit. Gonna be some sad times when the damage scaling falls off of these wolves. I really enjoy that they just demolish everything. Yeah, I don't know why it put me so far back. Why did they do this? Did I upset someone? Let's play this cave for funsies this time, since we're here again. I have a weird sense of how long this game takes to play now because of the improved speed. You know, like we're just darting around everywhere. Oh shit. That all. There's like a big chunk in the middle I didn't. Oh, okay. There's a small chunk in the middle I didn't clear. That's okay. I don't think anyone's gonna be upset that I didn't look there. And before, that's where the boss is. For that little zone. That'd be so funny. And by that I mean Tattle.
Maybe I didn't get this far? I really forgotten. Oh yeah, I didn't get this far, okay. Greetings! Greetings! Bye! We've got troubles. Every part of Greece is troubled these days. Sure, the centaurs and the satyrs are bad, but for us, the walking dead are worse. Every night you're at the city walls. We wake to more farmland burned and cattle slain. Skeleton raiders. Why these monsters came or what they want? Eh, nobody knows. You ever think of maybe asking them? Muse, grant me voice. Voice and memory to tell about the first of wars. The oldest battle in the times before the gods had come to rule. When they were bowed beneath the heavy titan hand. The ill-formed titans, great in strength and cruelty, oppressed the gods, their offspring. Until at last, behind the leadership of lightning-wielding Zeus, the gods took arms against the Titan Kings. It was the first war, and the greatest. Oceans were moved, and mountains overturned. Gods and Titans struggled for dominion, might and cunning making victors first of one, and then another. Until at last, wearied in their age, the Titans lost the war. The gods threw down their foes beneath the earth into the pit of Tartarus. Except for one, the strongest and cruelest of the titans. And he, they chained beneath a mountain for revenge. Then Zeus was king of gods and ruler over all the world. Hmm. By the looks of you, traveler, your feet are sure and firm on land. Well, mine are just as sure aboard a seabound vessel. Okay. The truth is, I've just arrived here myself. I was on a warship bound for Athens when Siren Song drove the crew mad. Unguided, our ship smashed against some rocks. I clung to a board and somehow washed ashore along with plenty of other timber and much of our cargo, which was arms and gold. Welcome, welcome! A fine warrior like yourself, I'm sure I've got just what you're looking for. Nothing else? Hello there! Satisfaction guaranteed. Everyone's talking about the undead, the living bones that attack us. Many in Megara whisper rumors, but I know the truth. I know where they come from. I crept out one night just before dawn and followed quietly. There is a ruined city built by the Mycenaeans long ago that we call Old Eleusis. It was there they went. There I followed them and watched them pour into the old stone gates. But he didn't do shit. Old Eleusis. That reminds me of an old myth they tell of the ruins. They say it was ruled by three brothers, uh, three princes. But in their hubris, they offended the god Apollo. He cursed them never to enter Hades, but to walk all the Lucis as restless and dead. flat damage and it doesn't scale with the other attack I feel like it's weirdly not that incredible do I have enough intelligence to wear all my gear 76 looks what I looks like what I need okay Thank <laughs> you. 
Nice when they're first, because then they just, uh, you know, soak all the attacks. You know, it is a little quiet because I have the sound effects down. wonder if I ought to turn them up. Or if this is like a pleasing mix right now. The ruins are to the right over here. Whoa, oh, this thing. Oh, wow, level 10, 72 dexterity, 116. Yeah, so I think dark blue like this means, uh, or light blue rather, means that I can't, it's like a unique item and can't apply anything on top of it. So normally I'd be able to put a, uh, like a thing on it. A, uh, my brain is blanking right now. An upgrade on top of it, but um, because it is a blue item, I cannot. How? I'm stingy with potions. I have very many of them. This cannot be open. Why the fuck not? Kill my dog. You see what I'm saying? Like, they know where the enemies are. I'm. I don't. I don't know anything. green item that I picked up. How do I keep you? Ow, my hand. Keep you. Ow, ow. 
Where are you guys going? Getting attacked. Where are you going? Oh, see, right there, they were completing the quest. I was the one fucking around. No more room. You have no more room. Got him. Oh, that's done with. Let's leave this place. This is a random big, like, troll fight. It's like, pardon. Oh my god, my inventory is full. Bye! Bye. So, Leonidas sent you. He must have his hands full if he didn't come himself. Monsters are rampaging all over Greece, not just in Sparta. Perhaps the Oracle can reveal the source behind all these attacks. The Oracle requires an offering when one requests an audience. Take a branch from the sacred olive tree to the Oracle of Delphi, the greatest of the Oracles. Kings and tyrants from the world over seek her prophecies. You will find the sacred olive tree in a grove on the road to Delphi, above the Helicos Pass. Take care, warrior. Okay, thank you. Ooh, extra inventory. I like putting the uh, extra potions in the second bag. The first bag can just be so items. So the skeletons will trouble us no more? You have done a great service to Megara, warrior. Dude, any time. Like, perfectly a bar? It looks so satisfying. I forget what's in this cave. Dude, gotta clear it out. Could be demons. Could be nothing. I feel like next time we're in town, I take that Heart of Oak amulet. amulet. So we get like a bunch of improved speed. I'll basically max the skill out by the time I equip it. I have like one point, so. Uh, the extra points will just give me way more speed, I think, at this point.
ship didn't have shit. the stats for this. Oh, I'm close on the dexterity, actually. Look at the little damage I'm doing with just the staff attack. Your inventory is full. My inventory is full. No. The pick up everything hotkey wasn't working. Boars. Did like a pretty notable amount of damage. Ah! <laughs> 
Listen to this ambient music. Everywhere across Greece, harvests go untended. Country villages are burned and abandoned. Peasants gather in cities for safety. I say the arrow is already in Greece's breast. Okay, Doomsayer. A blacksmith of remarkable skill lives in the hills by Helicos Pass. Some say the god Hephaestus himself taught Termeris his craft. He's friendly, but he keeps to himself. If you can find him, he will sell to you at a fair price. If he likes you. <laughs> How the fuck was that laugh? Ah, the olive grove. It is true, a sacred tree, old and stately, stood there. It lies down the road, but uh, I'd stay away if I were you. Okay. I see you've traveled a long road, stranger. Come, have a look. I might have something to suit your needs. I want a resistance on all the armor. Or Picking this up. Thank you. I was on my way from Delphi with some goods to trade. I had just set up camp amongst some nearby ruins when I heard the rattle of bone and smelled the scent of death. I looked up and saw skeletons everywhere. They didn't seem too friendly, so I ran. As far as I'm concerned, whoever finds my goods can have them. Your goods abandoned? How much damage am I really doing? Can I just walk up and stand still? Would anyone fault me for doing so? Relatively okay right now. Like if that was me that just ran in there solo, it would have definitely died. That is my grove burning on the hill above. The sacred tree is still up there. She may be unharmed, but you'll have to get past the savage brutes to reach her. Oh my god, this is in the Olive Garden, right? That I've heard so much about.
spirit spiders. Oh, okay, they can just win the game for me. Look at that. It wasn't even hard. This is one of those things that you could, in theory, miss if you only take left turns, as I typically do. You just have to know to go in this place to get the, um, what you call it, the olive branch. It might take some extra time, but I think in maybe the uh, next act, what we'll do is take the time to clear a little bit more of the map out actively. Maybe. I think I'm thinking about it right now. The tree is unharmed? Can it be true? Maybe the gods have not abandoned us after all. anymore. I said I was going to get the amulet. Straight up forgot. I think the blacksmith is over here. Oh, it's further past. Shadow Maw. Ow. Ow. Oh god, I'm dying. Oh shit. Dude, they didn't they didn't block for me at all. It sucks. I can't corpse run or anything, can I? I can. No. Oh. I'm on fire. I'm dying. Help me. Dog on dog violence. No. Not in the face. Jeez, I did so much damage. It's 
doing the same with the spikes, though? That was insane. You're either one-shotting the enemies or you're getting one-shot yourself. There's no in-between. An achievement? Defeat the Shadow Maw on normal before leaving Greece. Oh, okay. Cool. Easy game, dude. Uh, my achievements for some of this stuff are is a little funky because uh, I'm kind of all over the place with progress since I played on the pre-anniversary edition edition of the game. I don't get many visitors. Greetings, how can I help you? There's a flurry of blades. Tried to A that yellow item. Move. They trap me.
Oh my god, everyone's fighting. Stop fighting. Ow. Oh, jump hit. Right there, I'm lucky they were all bad. You're not the first. Unless I could just be dead. Thinking that the god Apollo would protect his own temple from the monsters. Oh, we protected. Good warriors have fallen, and no meteor, no arrow has come down from the heavens to strike our enemies. Look, you clearly got some kind of issue right now. You, you don't have to put that one on me. Shields, potions, greaves, bows, helmets of all kinds. Oh, uh, can I help you? I don't know, buddy. Can you? Best of luck. Ah. Another traveler with goods to store. Look, don't don't sound so desperate. Safe journey. Seeker, we thank you for your sacred offering. Enter and present yourself to the great oracle. Okay. Dude, permanent cold resist. That's what I'm talking about. Welcome, Seeker. You have come for a prophecy. Since Leonidas sent you, and you are a worthy supplicant, I shall channel Apollo's prophecy if he wills it. Wait. Wait. I, the Oracle of Great Apollo, am having a vision. The Ancient Ones emerge and run in chaos's full eruption. An evil band in every land Delighting in destruction. Once in shapeless, formless, and faceless, their great one is releasing. So to enslave both God and knave, their sorrows thus increasing. Who is man to stay the hand of those the gods can't better? And a hero yet takes the bet. To break the evil's fetter. Three lights of hope to help you cope. One south in sand and wonder. One to the east, defeat the beast and tear their plan asunder. The final light will mark the fight where you must face your fear. A door ajar, you travel far. And yet you find it near. Cool. You, warrior, are not what you seem. You came here to discover the source of these monsters. Nearby in the foothills of Parnassus lie the Parnassus Caves. Travel through these caves and on the far side, you shall find your answer. Okay. Apollo guide you, Seeker. Okay, thank you. I sell to the wise and powerful. Are you sure you should be shopping here? Travel far, away from here. Sorry, only actors backstage. Oh, okay, sorry. The travel far is my favorite, like, backhanded compliment. They're just like, please, get as far away from me as possible. 
Let's uh, briefly look at the log. Nope, that's not what I meant. It's gotta be safe, you know. Oh, log. That's not the log. Seek answers through the Parnas Caves. Oh, okay. Don't know I have to walk all the way back, you know? So we should take the portal. That's how y'all operate with giant Spider-Mans. Like they see this and they're just like, huh, that sucks like a little bit, but not an extraordinary amount. Yo boss, let's go. They're kind of wreaking havoc in here. This is the uh, ideal situation you get into with a minion build, yeah. Just walk into the room super late, and then just all kinds of things are happening, but you're like, whatever. I'm sure, I'm sure this is handled. I don't know if uh, kind of the way I'm doing the progression is like super optimal, but it's working well, well, well right now.
Dude, big clumps of weak enemies? It's great. Keep them coming. The guy on me. No. Rude. I don't know how to give my uh, minions like potions or anything. Do I need to reset them both on uh, aggressive? <coughs> Hello. What a sound that was. Oh, did I spend this level up? Oh, I spent these, but not the, uh, not the points. Chance of piercing or retaliation. It mostly just sounds funny. I feel like that's not. I don't want. I don't want to get hit because I'm just gonna die. Oh, you know, I needed to get more intelligence. Jeez, my brain is stupid. Okay, that's okay. I feel like I was looking for some scroll, and then I've neglected to commit it to memory, and now I'm just never gonna get it. Find an icon to denote what stance these minions are on. of the monsters. Dude, the source of the monsters is that I just haven't walked through here yet. You know I'm saying watch this. If I watch this, I mean these dogs. It's kind of a necromancy. Listen to this Halo music. You know? I feel like you lay on top of the, uh, lay the uh, actual, some Halo music right on top of that. It's not even that far off. is bizarrely no. Yeah, I think um 
I've just started this video as like a YouTube video, so this will be pre-recorded and each of these will be streamed. I was like, I'll just do the first act as one video and it's turning into like a four hour video or something like that. I'm still committed to doing it. It's just it's gonna be extraordinary long, or extraordinarily long in a way that like, I'm just going to stream this in the future. Monster! Oh, thank Olympus! You, you should have seen them. A whole army of the monsters. Centaurs and harpies and satyrs marching off. To where? Just a few still here. And the worst of them, they're lurking in the cave at the heart of the camp. Whatever you do, stay away. They'll turn you to stone. I saw it happen. Hmm. Really a fun test of my minion powers. both get turned to stone and become sad. Ow, I, I took a lot of damage. I'm in the process of taking damage. You have no more room. I have no more room. I don't get extra speed until like six points in or something, then that's okay. But it'll be a bigger investment than we make later. What does, what does this give? get um, the other minion just so I have it and then we fill out the tree These dogs aren't really going to get too much more damage. I think they get more sustain at this point. Or like low life stuff. Not particularly overwhelming kind of damage that would be with really investing in hardcore. I could have another minion out here, you know, with a bow.
Dude, everyone involved is taking a lot of damage right there. Kind of insane how quickly they were moving around. It's the game speed makes it seem like things are happening so fast. Like, way faster than normal. God, it does just put fireworks out. Looks so silly. Here we go. Big moment, big moment. missed. I didn't miss. I'm bleeding. So they missed. Blunder of the century. Your inventory is full. Magnus Carlson is disappointed. Gorgons get the better of me. I won't make that same mistake twice. Have you heard of the Telkin? He is a great sorcerer who can summon beasts and monsters to raid and destroy. My village was attacked by a fearsome Telkin. Everyone was killed. Everyone but me. I tracked him here from the far east. I would have had my revenge too if it hadn't been for those Gorgons nearly turning me to stone. He now marches his army towards Athens. By now, that city will be under siege. If you wish to see a Telkin, you'd better find him before I do. For I will have my revenge. I can zoom out Thank a little. Thank you, but goodbye. I have matters to attend to. I forgot about this. Look how much more I can see of the map. It's broken. Like tactical. Can't click on anything, it's too small. I feel like it's too tactical. I don't know. I don't know how what it was like before. Everything's different. It's like I'm playing a different game.
You have no more. You can't. Room. You have no You can't room. carry anymore. I, I can't carry anymore. some more substantial stats. Storm witches. Hermes guide you. Hang on to the recipe that I actually want to craft so I can look for the things more actively. I, I don't know any of the things that are on that uh, list. I could probably make this thing. I think one of these things is here. Ice Nova? Hello. You're done. Thank Let's go you. make this thing right now. Bye. Please have all your regents in order. Completion bonus. Hmm. Artifacts must be equipped. Let's see, uh, talisman that bestows unique powers, so it's to be equipped in your artifacts slot near your character's feet. Lesser artifacts grant unusual bonuses to your character. Greater and divine artifacts may grant powerful passive skills. Oh wow, you know, I really uh, was unlucky on this one because this 11 strength is like not great. Thank you, have a good day. I mean, it's not terrible, I suppose. So what am I having? Uh, it's mostly just percent chance of 50% damage reflected. Is it happening? Did it happen? <laughs> it's totally like not how this is going to work. didn't get the buff. How silly is that? Thank <laughs> you. 
Koopa. Got some Metroid vibes over here in the soundtrack. Happening? Is my damage falling off? Dude, why didn't I get another formula? Why did I get the scroll of onions? Magic fight, magic fight. Hero. Hero monster. Yeah. yeah, now that I have the minions and they're fully leveled up, like, I don't really know how we're going to scale the damage up from here. I guess I can buff them. Some other stuff. But I only have you like so much buff ability right you now. Can't carry anymore. It's kind of scary to think about, I guess. Oh, that's actually a thing there. Look at this. I think this last part kind of blends together. Like I thought we were going into, we were already in the last dungeon for this act. But obviously we're, we're not. to know what the console version of this game is like. I know there's like a Switch version. What does it play like? I, I want um, some controller support on this actually. Wouldn't mind it. Definitely utilize it a lot in um, Grim Dawn.
Hold on there. We've got a giant limos trapped here. Stay back. Uh, well, the thing is, we don't know what to do with it. After we saw what it did to Liegris. We sent a scouting party out to the Athenian swamps. They haven't returned yet. I don't know what could possibly have delayed them. Spartans lost. Easy game. Y'all were worried about this? You, you, you... How did you do that? When you went in, I expected that Lemos to... to oh, my apologies, noble warrior. I mistook you for a common traveler. Most people do. Common traveler with two wolves. A common traveler that's glowing green. Um, I think in this situation you have to hug. You have to take right turns to discover the lost Spartans. Like they're literally this way. Yeah, they hey, are. you there! A Hail. human face is a sight for sore eyes. I'm sure our captain thinks we didn't make it. Well, we're all right, just a little lost. I'm sure our captain thinks we are an idiots. How cute is this accent, you know? Of no frame of reference. I obviously, wouldn't be like speaking English or whatever, but is the ac accent evocative, at least? Oh, there you go. And if you don't go into that swamp right there to the right, then uh, you just don't uh, encounter them. That guy did some pretty decent damage. I think that dude just threw a knife at me. Oh, 
That was fucked up. You can't carry anymore. You can't hold anymore. I can't hold anymore? Okay. Oh, you know, it's probably this cold guy. He's like, they're not ready for that shit. I'm not ready for that shit. That's fucked up. Sorry about that. Jacinto. I much prefer them attacking me instead of the dogs, but that was very rude of them. Game to. Your inventory is full. You can't your carry inventory. anymore. Inventory is full. Inventory is full, apparently.
Doggo, no. My man's head just came off. I was, I was not attacking anything right there. I think there was a guy to the side at one point, and then they just like mysteriously died. And I insisted on attacking in their direction still. Ah, it's you again. Still alive. I am lucky to be here myself. I thought we Spartans could stop this nightmare on our own. I was a fool. In our pride, we refused help from our Greek brethren, and Sparta suffered a great loss to the monsters. A soldier knows only attack, but I must be more than a soldier. I must be a warrior and learn to temper my pride. It has become clear that the Spartans must unite with all Greeks if we are to stand a chance against these monsters. I cannot make heads or tails of the Oracle's prophecy, but your deeds in Parnassus are worthy of a hero's song. This Telkin you speak of must be the leader of the horde that attacked us. At the height of the battle he disappeared, giving us the chance to drive the monsters back. I have heard reports of skirmishes within the city walls. I cannot spare a runner. Would you investigate? Okay. Well, how much has happened since I saw you last? I'm sure the tales you could spin are at least as long as mine. Okay. the town? Oh, it is. Oh, Muse. I sing now of a mountain nymph named Maya, and how with Zeus she bore a son named Hermes. Thus was born the swiftest god, fleet of foot with sandals winged, patron god of travelers and boundaries, of shepherds and of thieves. Hermes, who leads the dead to Hades, and who has often aided heroes in their tasks. When Maya gave birth, lying in a cave in Mount Selene, she took the infant in her arms and quickly fell asleep. The bright-eyed infant Hermes, seeing that she slept, crawled from her arms and then ran to Thessaly. He found the pasture where Apollo's sacred cattle grazed, forbidden to any but their owner. The infant Hermes stole some cows and hid them well away. He slaughtered one, and took its gut, and with an empty tortoise shell, constructed the first lyre. The fleet-foot god then ran back home and wrapped himself back in his mother's arms. But Apollo appeared, angrily claiming Hermes had stolen his cattle. It was then that the infant took the lyre and began to play. And the lyre's sweet sound directly charmed Apollo, god of music, and he relented in his anger. He saw the lyre, and his desire for it was so great, he offered to let young Hermes tend his cattle in exchange for the instrument. And so the first, but not the last, of Hermes' mischief came to no ill end. Okay. I love the lore. Oh shit, there's monsters. Let me just corner myself. I beg of you, 
Please help. Our leader is besieged by monsters in the catacombs under the Acropolis. If he dies, then the rest of the world may suffer the same fate. Please, go beneath the Parthenon. Save him quickly! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hail, warrior. I have the finest goods in Athens. You will find none better. Athena guard you. The best of human nature shows when united by a common threat. Have you noticed this? With the monster scourge upon us, old rivals help protect each other. Without it, we'd return to petty differences. Beneath the Parthenon. Kairos is almost mad with panic, but what he says seems to be true. Dark magic conjured beasts upon the Acropolis. We are fighting our way up there now. Ascend, homies. Okay, go on. It's like a big rat. I'm gonna say like a fat rat, but that's kind of rude. Hey, hang on, my ears are itchy. A lifeguard helm. Lightguard's helm. Gonna keep the pool safe, dude. Or the beach. Monster kill, I didn't even see it. Yeah, so right here we need to go down. For the sake of uh, checking stuff out and clearing out the uh, little dungeon. We'll just, uh, oh God, what's that? let's do a quick loop. Um, elemental resistances or anything like that. I mean, honestly, like, I barely do. But they definitely don't. Okay, 
just this middle area left. <laughs> You have no more room. I have no more room? Why can I have no more room? Oh no, there's an item on the other side. What am I to do? On the face. Not in the face. Yeah, if you wanted to go even faster, you could uh, pick up less, really. Or drop the items as you are finding them. Like, what are you really going to do with the money? chess they're clearing the room fantastic team you can't carry anymore How do I get some pay to win, like vacuum up loot as I'm going? And I'll look at it later, kind of deal. Look at that. This thing has been like since I played the anniversary edition. Like uh, there's a mirror right there or something. A window into some alternate dimension.
like of everything that I remember the most in this game, it's like this particular place. Like this part is just so long. Or I remember it as being like incredibly, incredibly long. You Especially have when you pick room. up every item. You can't carry anymore. Alistor. Potion what summons man's. Fight, magic fight. Ow, I don't win this. Press the button to summon and then it just doesn't happen. Like you cancel it with your move. It's a little annoying. You guys just got <coughs> really juicy life amount. It is level 18. Gamer. Mysterious warrior, by saving my life you have done more than you know. I lead the Order of Prometheus in Athens. We are an ancient order, charged with the safekeeping of the mortal realm. What you have heard is true. The force behind these monsters is a powerful being, a lesser titan known as a Tilkin. The titans are an ancient race of gods, much older than Zeus and his brethren. Zeus. They once had absolute power. All creatures followed their rule. Eventually, the gods created humans and gifted us with intelligence. We it was their biggest the mistake. On many occasions, and they were determined to destroy us. The gods resisted, refusing to let their greatest creation be destroyed, and a great war ensued. We it were the greatest creation. The Titans That's awkward. Triumph. However, a few bold warriors and heroes aided the gods. They banished the Titans to another realm. 
We believed that all the Telkins were banished with them. It seems we were wrong. The Telkin is now bound for Nossos on the Isle of Crete. We fear that he plans to destroy a sacred artifact which we have guarded for ages. This artifact keeps us in contact with the godly realm. If it is destroyed, there's no telling what will happen. You have to stop him. Go to the docks no here chilling. in Athens. You will find an agent of our order who will arrange your passage to Crete. Hurry. The fate of the world is in your hands. No pressure, by the way. Okay. Excuse me. Hello. Did this part save? How's that even possible? How do they secure a safe spot? Like a whole ass... Port Villa. Okay, just kidding. <laughs> the answer is, they didn't. Phaedra sent you? You're the one he's sending to Gnosis? Incredible. I am the Promethean agent he spoke of. Phaedrus knows what the Telkin did to my family, my village, and he still won't let me seek my revenge. Instead, he sent I feel like you, everyone knows what happened to your village me on a mission to the east. Kind of can't shut up about it. I am it. duty bound to follow his orders. I hope Phaedrus knows what he is doing. I suppose I wish you luck. I will see that Telkin dead, one way or another. I'll show you to your ship. Okay. Yeah, see, we're still in Act 1. That's so long. You seek the palace? Be warned. Tales speak of the Minotaur beast who dwells in the labyrinth beneath the palace. You won't be going down there if you want to come up again. You don't know what I'm Truly capable the of. The greatest builder ever to live was the man named Daedalus. Inspiring news grant to me the words to tell his tale. For Minos, King of Crete, did Daedalus make the labyrinth. It was built to house the terrible Minotaur. When Minos imprisoned him high in a tower, Daedalus built wings of wax. Two sets of wings, one for himself, another for his son. Then he gave careful warning to his son. Fly not too high, he told him, for the sun will melt the wax. Fly not too low, for if the wings get wet, they will not fly. Then. Son and father put on the wings, and with the dawn took flight away from Crete and cruel King Minos. But Minos. as the day got on, young Icarus took joy in flight, and forgetting his father's words, soared up into the sky. He neared the sun. The waxen feather softened, melted, and foolish Icarus fell from the sky. Daedalus flew on to Sicily, and there he grieved. He named the place Icaria, where Icarus fell. And then, in Sicily, he built a temple to Apollo and left his wings as an offering in the temple there. Fun. Uh, my shop is a shadow of its former glory. We've fallen on hard times here. Still, perhaps I can help you? Oh, look at this. Bro, we're equipping this. Okay. Good luck. Thank you. Welcome, stranger. All is not well here in Gnosis. Last night, something passed by here. We felt it, though we could not see it. Now everything has gone into chaos. Horrible creatures appeared. The ground shook, and an evil fog moved in off the sea. Many of us have fallen mysteriously ill. 
and our healer, Xanthippus, is up in the hills. Nobody has seen him for two days. Is that a lot of days? People are saying that some thing of great power and evil came into Nossus last night. Once, long ago, the cruel tyrant Leucus seized the throne in Nossus. His bloody reign came to an end when a servant poisoned him. Some tell tales of his skeleton rising from its tomb nestled in Triton's Ridge. Good day! Come again! Come again. The beasts have claws and teeth, but you have fire. You have Zeus come again. You have to come again. Dude, unfazed birds. This isn't the way. What a big zone. Wait, that's not the way. How do I get out of here? Oh, right here. I'm trapped. Yeah, I think they're still doing good damage, but they're also taking a substantial amount of damage now, too. I don't think I can do anything about that. also a bridge oh you know that looks not like a bridge on the mini map i wasn't using my eyes yeah just look at the map dude or look at look at the game wow i'm taking a lot of stop it these stone bridges. This is entirely unsafe.
Entschuldigung. Good day. Stalwart Alliance? No. Good luck. Yeah, if I could filter one affix yellow items, it probably would. They're just not worth picking up, even. Which probably means I can upgrade my filter now. Bleed a skeleton. I'm pretty sure that's what vitality damage is. You're like making them bleed. Dude, it's these guys. Right. Heck yeah.
Oh no, one of the dogs died. Yeah, we described the time to kill now is just decent. Not like incredible or anything anymore. Um, at this point, I don't really know how to get any more damage scaling out of the pets. I should say specifically in the nature tree. I think probably what I was looking at before was specking into storm after. And then getting some uh, more damage buffs for everything. It synergized pretty well because like I'll have several minions at that point and they'll all benefit from all the damage improvements. like this, just take left turns. Potion, but I don't want to wait for it. But the mini map is just straight wrong right here. Forgot about this part. To throw you off of the maze, it's like offset slightly. So you can't just be like, I'm gonna look at the mini map. Easy maze, by the way. He fell into the chasm. Okay, no, there's a bottom. <laughs> this is scary. You can't hold in the inventory, inventory is full. My inventory is full. Fire staff is a little nice in its consistency. You can uh, burn, and then it provides extra damage on top of whatever you're normally doing, I guess. As opposed to hitting for a damage range, it's more consistent if you want consistency.
fighting here so far hasn't been so bad. We're fighting enemies where the vitality damage is really effective, I think. Let's see, one of the wolves is at half health. Nothing I can do about that. He says. I'd be kind of surprised if stuff was broken like that. Like Path of Exile is um, so easy in, in this way. Where minions in particular are just like ridiculously strong. You have no you more can't room. Carry you can't anymore. carry anymore. I think perfectly hit me. Dude, where are my dogs would have fire breath? Crazy.
it going? Where are you going? We're going this way. I love the minions on aggressive. They're just like, an enemy's over here. Let me go kill him. in the face. Like a regular spellcaster, what are you? What are you supposed to do there? You have no more room. I think one of the things with this, uh year is going to be streaming more so there's less downtime in terms of what I'm able to do and if I spend less time uh, editing or rendering then I spend more time actually like playing and like doing stuff or we're like conscientious objecting against these statues seal or whatever. He's breaking the world stone. Music. 
sick. Saw it all from where I was hiding. It was amazing. Thanks for the help, by the way. I, I, I still can't believe that a mortal actually managed to best at Telkeen. Unfortunately, there was no way to stop him from destroying the conduit. Now, we are cut off from the gods. They cannot hear our cries and, and they cannot help us when we need them most. If there is no way to reconnect the two realms, I fear that humankind stands little chance against the monster Scourge. Please, go to Egypt. Seek out a man named Imhotep, a sage of the Order of Prometheus. He knows more about the nature of the conduit than any other mortal. He may be our only hope. You will find him in the city of Rakotis. Take my ship. It is anchored at the river nearby. Level up. There it is. Second minion. We'll keep it on neutral. Maybe that'll keep it so that uh, the Sylvan nymph or whatever stays in the back and the wolves go up front. Egypt. Act two, baby. You can tell we're in act two. Uh, oh, hang on. We gotta talk to somebody first. There it is, Act Two. Greetings, traveler. I am Imhotep. Honorable Phaedrus has praised your accomplishments and sent word of your coming. Even the heroes of legend might have met their match in a Telkin, yet you have stood triumphant where others would have failed. Greece is not the only land plagued with monsters and other unnatural creatures. Egypt is also in chaos. The pharaoh has fled their palace and is now in hiding. Entire armies cannot stop the monsters. Without the gods, our cause is lost. Death and slavery are our only future. I know a way we can contact the godly realm, e even though the conduit was destroyed. There is an ancient invocation ceremony that might allow us to summon the gods. You, you must go to the great library of Rakotis and locate the scroll of invocation. I must warn you to use caution as monsters have broken into the archives. I cannot aid you in this task, for <laughs> I am no warrior. I have pressing business in Sayas. Once you have obtained the scroll, bring it to me there. I will be in the Temple of Ptah. All our hopes rest with you now. Okay. Cool. Gotta be like a on point thingy. There it is. Act one completed. 